He's been in great form throughout since um, his great effort at Cheltenham in the Unibet International. And to be fair, you know, even that day it wasn't ideal, but he still managed to nut what now looks like a very good form line with Strilva Streak. So we're thrilled with how he's been. For a yard of the size of ours, we are very lucky to have him. So let's hope we can keep getting it right. We have an opportunity with him, so I hope we can you know, do our best for him, really. I like to think we're the people that do what the horse presents itself to be able to do. And I think, you know, in the Kingwell, he definitely showed a new dynamic on the better ground on a sharp track like Kempton. And then um, in the international, you know, if he'd have got beaten that day giving a penalty away, we'd have been perfectly happy with that as well. But he still managed to do it without the hurdles and the penalty. I, I still wonder whether with the one thing we're not clear on yet is the ground. He seems to handle all types of ground, but whether if it came up very, you know, sort of good ground over two miles at Cheltenham in March, I would wonder whether he'll be quite as effective. But, you know, we'll carry on. And he obviously has the entry in the champion hurdle. Um, he is obviously entered this weekend as well in the... Unibet champion hurdle trial at, at Haydock and it's these stepping stones that take you to the giant leap to March or indeed April and beyond. He's like a lot of young youngsters as you know when they have to they don't sleep a lot when they're young and then when they get to about 17 18 they're very hard to get out of bed in the morning he's a bit like that he sort of has to take a bit of you know, getting going but as I said on the gallop it's kind of when he feels like it you have to more humour him than train him. All last year his work was only okay and always ever has been only okay his movement is good his habit um, eating habits are good so as long as he's healthy and happy in his you know physical body then his mind just needs to be stimulated uh, which is when you school him and you see him then at his best because that's when he really likes to show you what he can do it's quite scary to watch actually I remember when Nicker rode him in Ascot, I said, you can see a video of him jumping. He said, God, why are you going so fast? I said, because that's the only way we know when he's ready to go, uh, which Nico then suddenly said, he reminds me of a horse. I said, yes, let's not say that. And the horse like binocular. So yeah, he's, he's just it, that he is a proper hurdler and he loves it. I looked at the international before the race as sort of confirmed very, very good hurdlers, but horses that probably improvement, I mean, unless Silver Street now is, which happens, as we know, from Rooster Booster. Horses can suddenly improve age 9 to 10. Um, he was the up-and-coming young horse, which I suppose by winning it, he showed he probably is. Epitant's a fabulous horse. It's lovely to see a filly like her win the champion hurdle, but it takes a hell of a horse to win too. So, you know, we'll just do our best and creep our way there quietly and see what happens.